first main stop is at this huge uh, sand formation. It's in the middle of nowhere. As you might have seen there, we uh, were just cruising along the main road. Then Chuka, the driver, just went off onto this dirt road. No GPS, no maps, nothing. <laughs> then we've just been driving for about an hour on either a dirt road or just planes. So cool. Night, uh, we're staying in a traditional gur. Pretty cool, pretty cozy. Yeah, a little fire in the middle. Apparently, it only takes them half an hour to set the totally pack these down and then half an hour to fully set one up. It's pretty impressive, it's all like timber and stuff. It's cozy. We're just uh, settling in now. And then apparently at sunset, so about 5.20, it's uh, camel milking time. <laughs> Get amongst that before dinner. See you there. Camel o'clock. <laughs> hey dudes. Camels waiting for the mummy camels. It's so cute. Oh, She's been let out straight to mummy. Next up for dinner. They chuck some cow dung in the. This is the fire for us, so it's maybe zero degrees in here now. And we're off. Don't know what we're doing today. We're gonna go climb up some mountains, I think. Let's go. Start day two. fried noodles and Maddie had the broth and then we had the uh, vegetable dumplings pretty damn good it's so full now now we're gonna head up to these mountains I think and do a do a bit of a hike
and there's awesome snow out. It's like sick. It's so glary to whip the old sunnies out. For the first time in months. This looks awesome. Super special place, one of the most beautiful places we've seen. Just don't know where to look. Dry feet this time now. Oh no. So we made it to night two in our girl. Hey, who's this? It's a lot prettier than our last girl, I gotta say. A lot more pinks. Pretty birds. We got freezing cold last night, so it's super sweet. They've uh, hooked us up with some extra coal. We look after ourselves tonight. Last night we were left to the wolves. We're just gonna get set up in here and then stroll around the, the little complex they got here, you could call it. Complex. Complex? Their little uh, camp. Their little camp they got going here. Come on, little goaties. Ah, they don't want to play with me. Oh man, what is it? up this hill and it is worth every single step. Check this out.
Cheers. to the sand dunes and gonna ride some camels. So cool. Tour guide isn't the best communicator. We just arrived and she shoved us into the uh, host's <laughs> host girl. We're just chilling on their uh, beds. <laughs> we just tried um, the local tea for the first time, which is camel milk. It was a green tea and salt. It was really nice. Now we're just sitting in. We've been ushered back in here to wait for our girl to get ready and for them to collect up the camels. <laughs> so it was pretty... Uh, it was like off-road the whole way from last night's camp to this night's camp. Um, our driver, Chuka, just has a crazy GPS in his head. He just knows every left and right to take. It's wild. Um, we found some wild gazelles. That, uh, it was like a dog to a kangaroo and just started chasing it in the four-wheel drive. Felt sorry. I had a little baby running behind it. Poor, poor little baby. Couldn't catch up. So now we're just settling in here for the night and um, we're either going to do a trek first and then a camel ride or a camel ride then a trek depending on where the camels are. So this is the an actual girl that someone lives in rather than just one that's got beds in it for us. And you can see it's like pretty much the same except it's got a bunch of personal possessions all sort of put in, into all the wood, I don't know what you call them, pegs. But it's funny, like their uh, the fire places they give us like massive to keep us warm, and they just got this like little one. They must just like sleep so used to the heat. Mm. Trying out the uh, homemade uh, camel kefir. So the camels weren't ready for us, so we're hitting up the sand dunes first. Well. Before when I said we're going hiking or trekking, apparently we're scaling a sand dune. It's gonna be tough. First stop is this old uh, river though. Pretty cool. Oh, anyone that's interested that uh, fermented camel's milk tastes like a more awesome kefir. Time to scale that. It's gonna be tough.
fan of the top, but we just we feel so defeated. I don't know if you can tell the angle, but we are going vertical right now. She managed to get a little bit further than us, but we just don't have either the equipment or the fitness to do this. Yeah. Good view though. This might give some perspective of how steep this is. That's vertical. There's our feet. It's so awesome, but. Uh, well, we almost made it. Camel riding. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, this is my steed. What do I hold this? What you hold your phone? Oh. Bring back. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. So they don't name their camels. If I feel like I've got to name my steed. What's yours called, babe? Huh? Mary. <coughs> That's a good name. I'll call mine Juniper. Oh! Excuse you! Nose from uh, Jennifer's sister. Hey. So I got Mary, Juniper, and Foss. I don't know where Foss came from, but that's going to be our name now. That was very comfortable. So they must have just collected the camels up just for us to ride. <laughs> they just let them go. Go hang back out with their mates. So our uh, go is a bit more fancy tonight. It's cool, all this cool artwork on it. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, 
What's up? Hi. Huh? You like a pup? <laughs> got a friend. <laughs> got a thousand, a thousand sheep. Now he's going after it. Let's go. Hey. What's up, buddy? The Mongolian, local Mongolian dog protecting. Picking them up. <laughs> Alright, my hand's about to fall off. That's enough for tonight. I'm gonna go warm up before down. What a day, what a place. idea what I look at look like right now right I have no idea what I look like right now um, I've been saying the go so it's either been drop toilets or um, last night or this spot there is no drop toilet it's just the wilderness <laughs> so it comes out as no showers so we can't wait tonight we're actually staying in a hotel for the last night before we head back to Ulaanbaatar so, we actually can't wait to have a shower. <laughs> as much fun as it's been uh, roughing it, they're pretty keen to get clean. But, um, waking up to this is pretty awesome.
in the main square of Ulmatar. This is the government building behind us here. Um, got old Jengis, big old Jengis on the front of it. And we've got a statue here, I've forgotten the guy's name. Um, I'll throw it up here. But this is the fella he uh, managed to free the Mongolians from the Manchurian rule. But then sad, he um, was killed by um, the communists because he wouldn't he wouldn't submit to the USSR. So he was murdered. Um, but he's obviously like greatly revered by the Mongolians. There's a big statue here, he's on a fair few of their currencies. It's been pretty pretty, pretty tough for the Mongolians. It's constantly taken over, so now they're just um, trying to find their feet again. But half the country just want to be nomads, while the other half um, want to be part of the industrial world. So it'll be pretty tough for the government to work, work through all that.